Fantastical scripts can take us to some strange places, and the things the characters endure in these stories can have their actors dealing with some unbelievable conditions, sometimes even questioning if they want to be actors anymore at all. Number one, you've heard of waterboarding, but what about wineboarding? Game of Thrones actor Hannah Waddingham got to learn all about wineboarding for this scene. There I was, strapped to a wooden table with proper big straps for 10 hours. And definitely, other than childbirth, it was the worst day of my life. Hannah's scene partner, Lena Headey, said she didn't enjoy filming the scene either, though she was lucky enough to avoid any physical pain. Having to pour wine onto her co-star's face for so long, and knowing how it was distressing her fellow actor, was tough. Lena felt so guilty about what she was doing that she deliberately missed Waddingham's face on several occasions. Number two, not your average Joe. You actor Penn Badgley said playing Joe takes a toll on his psyche, but also called it a deep psychological exploration. He said, all the reasons that I dislike him are all the reasons that I find it an interesting role, an interesting project. There are a number of scenes that would be uncomfortable to film, but for Penn, one in particular stands out. The season one finale finds Joe outside Beck's apartment. For this scene, Penn said he did not want to do the scene. The actor recalled, that's what Joe was doing. That's what I had to enact. I found myself surprisingly disgusted. Number three, Dark Betty? No thanks. Riverdale actor Lily Reinhardt asked the production to stop including Dark Betty scenes because she found them so uncomfortable to film, saying, I think it kind of became a mockery of itself. With regard to her character's alter ego, Lily said, it was supposed to be this dark side of her that she wasn't able to express otherwise, and it just became this weird sexual thing that people didn't really understand. Number four, riding a dragon is no easy task. Just ask Game of Thrones actor Kit Harrington. Harrington had heard from his castmate, Amelia Clark, that filming the dragon scenes was difficult, but didn't know just how bad it could be, until he got to try it himself. Kit said, It was horrific. It's not acting at all. It's not acting. It will never be acting, and it is not what I'd signed up for. It is very uncomfortable as a man. Somehow, Kit managed to get some sensitive areas caught in the mechanical bull he was riding, saying, In my head, I thought, this is how it ends, on this buck. Fortunately, the actor didn't suffer any long-term damage. Number five. Flying on a broom isn't as fun as it seems. Harry Potter actor Daniel Radcliffe shared that he was not fond of any of the Quidditch scenes he filmed in the Harry Potter series. Daniel said, Quidditch is right up there with the least fun things I've ever done on Harry Potter. It's not a pleasant experience, it does hurt quite a lot, and it's not something I would rush back to. Number six, Chris Pratt doesn't like bullies, even if they are characters. While filming scenes for Parks and Recreation, Chris realized he hated filming certain scenes, and they weren't even his his own. Pratt expressed his dislike of the pranks and mean-spirited treatment of Gary slash Jerry slash Larry slash Terry Garage. Pratt shared he wasn't happy with the character's treatment on screen, saying, It's getting a bit over the top. I like Jim O'Hare. Too much for us to be mean to him all the time. Number seven, Celeste Wright went through a lot. Nicole Kidman's character in Big Little Lies is a wife abused by her violent husband, and the performance left Kidman emotionally exhausted. Nicole shared, I felt very exposed and vulnerable and deeply humiliated at times. I remember lying on the floor in the bathroom and I just wouldn't get up in between takes. Number eight, nude and afraid. Amelia Clark knows all about it. The Game of Thrones actor describes her nude scenes as terrifying to shoot. Amelia said, I'd been on a film set twice before then, and I'm now on a film set completely naked with all of these people, and I don't know what I'm meant to do, and I don't know what's expected of me. However, Amelia also said that co-star Jason Momoa helped make her feel safe in their love scenes, showing her how to get through the awkward experience and demanding proper treatment for the actress. Number nine, accidentally locked up for real? Filming intense scenes for Game of Thrones can be an emotionally demanding task, and sometimes a physically draining one as well. Just ask actor Indira Varma, whose character was chained up using manacles and were causing problems while shooting. Sometimes they were too loose and slipped off the actor's wrists, but they could also be painfully tight at other times. Worst of all, Indira Varma actually got stuck inside her manacles at the end of the day. Unable to free herself, a member of the props department had to use a saw to set the actress free. Number 10, eat your heart out. While filming Game of Thrones, Amelia Clark's character had to eat the raw heart of a stallion. 
Rather than eating a real heart, Amelia Clark had to consume a fake one consisting of solidified jam. It might sound simple, and maybe even tasty, but it wasn't. According to Clark, it tasted more like a mixture of bleach and pasta. In the scene, we see her character eat one heart, but because of the various takes, Clark had to bite into 28 fake hearts. Unsurprisingly, Amelia struggled, finding herself involuntarily sputtering and even vomiting a few times. At least she didn't need to worry about her performance too much. There was no need to act when the fake hearts were so gross. Number 11, a vegetarian nightmare. While shooting The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio's character makes a meal of a raw bison liver, but it was actually a real raw liver. Any meat eater might have struggled with this, but the fact that Leo is usually a vegetarian made this an even more difficult moment to film. Number 12, Going nowhere fast. For the filming of The Force Awakens, the cast and crew spent the first part of the film's production in the blazing desert heat of Abu Dhabi. Actors Daisy Ridley and John Boyega trained on treadmills for all the running they'd have to do, but that didn't prepare them for the added challenge of running on sand. Ridley said running on the combination of hard and soft sand was killer on the legs, and she was thankful for the shots that included explosions because that usually meant fewer takes. Number 13. What's it like to act while blind? Just ask Game of Thrones actor Ian Beatty. Ian's character had to endure multiple stab wounds to his torso and his eyes. Ian wasn't actually hurt during the filming, but the actor had to wear prosthetics over his eyes, which meant he was completely blinded for several hours during the last day of filming. Number 14. This scene made Jessica Alba want to stop acting. While filming the scene for Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, Jessica Alba was challenged with portraying the death of her character Sue. The challenge was that Jessica was acting the scene too well. Director Tim Story allegedly said as she was filming, it looks too real. It looks too painful. Can you be prettier when you cry? Cry pretty, Jessica. Don't do that with your face. Just make it flat. We can CGI the tears in. This made her feel like her emotions and instincts just weren't good enough. Number 15, looking cool and feeling cold. That's how Denzel felt when filming Equalizer. Washington got pretty tired of filming the scene where his character, Robert, sets off the sprinklers in a warehouse. The movie's ending took days to film. Denzel said he understood that the fire sprinklers pouring water all over the scene looked cool, but wasn't into it, especially after filming multiple 13-hour days. With scripts and stories getting bigger and more bizarre, we know this is only a short list of scenes that actors found themselves struggling to film. So what do you think? What did we miss? Let us know in the comments below.